somebody supposed to come over. So why would y'all even come over to my content? Because we from Philly, we do a lot of What do that mean, man? I don't give no fuck about no content. I ain't no disrespect. No disrespect. Nobody told us to slot. So we talked to the security guard, the number of uh, person that live in front of check in, man. We should come over here. Ain't no <laughs> I say I, 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 I respect that. I respect that. No, no. So who is y'all? Why y'all just come My name is Nene Tuan Fa. This is Uli as I fear. That's right. Every round, I take the camera and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Y'all just come up here and just take up free in the crowd, man. You know what I'm saying? So just get up out of here, man. You can hear me. Let me out. All right. This is her. All right. Yep. Yeah, we're about to slide. Yeah, you want to know what's crazy? What's crazy though, like, how we even. Made old connection, my oil, he was making calls before. Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And what y'all just witnessed right there. That was exactly why tourists should stop coming to Old Block. I did a video two years ago saying how Old Block gonna be one of the biggest tourist attractions since the motherfucking Michael Jordan um, statue. And that, that was just me being funny. But as time has passed, you see Mexicans, you see people from Africa, London, everybody going to Oblock to get a picture. And what they probably doing, what this group of people didn't do, is they checking in. Now, the way Money Duke make it sound is you got to pay to come to Oblock. I don't know how much. I'm pretty sure if you check in with him, he going to make you pay just because you can get some clout off of Oblock just by saying you was there. And apparently this dude named Manny215, he a vlogger from from Philly, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what he do is he go to different hoods and he kind of trying to do that Miko worldwide shit. And it backfired on him yesterday. Uh, he went to O Block, didn't check in. Even though he did check in, he didn't check in with the right people. Um, as you see, everything that transpired on that video, I'm going to break it down to you. He pulled up in the O. Mother Duke called him, told him, you got to check in. This ain't no free enterprise. Um, do you know who I am? Dude ain't know who he was. A minute later, he got his camera took. Uh, dude was able to get his camera back by his old head that he had in Philly, who was making calls for him on his behalf, but they didn't call Duke. So right after that, the next day, they did an actual vlog. If you go to Manny215, um, his Instagram and his YouTube, you'll see Money Duke and him did a lot of things. That mean that, that check was cut. And let this be a lesson to all tourists. O Block is still the projects. It's a dang it was one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the world you can't go there expecting to be friendly and just be cool because you've seen a mariachi band going that motherfucker with 10 mexicans and shit trust me sometimes o block could do shit just for clout if it look good on their end but right now how things set up in the streets i just advise y'all to not even want to why do y'all want to go there because chief keith and king vaughn i get it but it's played out at this point even if I was to go back in O Block and do my ride throughs, everybody in the scene, every inch of that motherfucker. So, inch at your own risk. But I don't think that people should look at O Block as a place like, let's go here and let's do this, let's do that. You got to check in on people. People always say in Chicago, you don't got to check in. Wrong. You can't go to somebody else's hood without knowing somebody. That's a form of checking in. Regardless if you pay or you don't. Ask Steven Jackson. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.